This is a question I'd like to raise to Helen, uh, who has very recently um, entered uh, a new mission, a new assignment as a data scientist. Welcome, Helen. Thank you. Um, what do you actually get to apply your skills on these days? Uh, I get to work on a wide spectrum of assignments uh, from solving and supporting quality issues to future designs. For instance, for the our trucks tomorrow, the configuration of the fuel cells systems. Uh, right now, I'm working on a quality case for customer trucks, which are used in uh, mines in Philippines and Russia. Uh, they are used in very rough conditions. So for some of these vehicles, the front axle is uh, broken. So with the available data as we have talked about here with Nils uh, and the tools we have as well, I can support the project in uh, finding um, the root causes of uh, the failures. And the great thing here is that uh, we can do it without traveling to the sites. And that's great now with the pandemic situation and also for the future to re work remotely in a global context. I'm assuming that you're working on, uh, I mean, those projects you're describing are pretty large projects, right? How How is the work organized? Are you working on your own? What is your scope? Uh, no, definitely not. I don't work on my own. Uh, in the project, we work in a team with, as we have different competences. But in my own team, uh, we also share our knowledge together as we have different uh, competences in uh, stats in computer science, in uh, product knowledge, uh, experience, and uh, together we create a great team, a, a high performing team, I can say, and all my colleagues, they are so willing to share their knowledge with me. So it helps us extremely. Uh, what makes a great data scientist, would you say, Helen? What's your top five criteria? Uh, for me, it's to have a critical uh, thinking at looking at the problem to be solved. Uh, further, it's very good to have good technical skills, for example, in math, stats, and so on. Uh, you need also to be a good storyteller because here you need to communicate with multiple, multiple stakeholders, and it's very important, that part. Furthermore, you need to have experience so you have an understanding on what you need to expect. And, uh, and lastly, it's always good to have a network. Um, you've been in your assignment for about nine months, so you're still a newbie in your profession. Uh, yeah. What strikes you most? I'm still uh, fascinated about the amount of data which is available within the Volvo Group and what you can do it. I mean, my colleagues have showed me the conclusions you can draw from the data, behaviors you can predict. It's fascinating. So I think I'm learning something new every day. Um, you're not actually new to the Volvo Group. You've been uh, with us for a number of years. What keeps you motivated to this day, you know, when you come to, well, not necessarily to the office, but when you come to, to your PC every morning? Uh, I, I mean, I've been for the Volvo Group for a long time and, uh, and the Volvo Group is a group of different companies. So that given me the opportunity to work with the different brands in the R&D world, with manufacturing, purchasing, aftermarket. And I've learned a lot uh, during all these years. It's a very good experience to bring in in data science. Besides that, it's always been a very good company for me as I have a family. Uh, it's uh, given my a good work balance between family time and work. And uh, as been part-time for instance during my career and it's never stopped my progression so I think it's a very good company. Uh, good that you touch upon that topic Helen because we know that in our industry we've not yet reached a uh, you know a gender balance 50-50 uh, men and women. Uh, how, how does it work for you? How do you experience that? It's never made a difference to me because uh, people don't judge me for my gender. They, I'm judged for my competence. And well, that's good to hear.
Good to hear. Anything else that keeps your energy going? Uh, I like to run. I've been joining the running group at Volvo for yeah more, more than 20 years. So I think it's a very good uh, benefit we have. And we have a lot of health coaches which arrange activities to yeah, keep your health uh, and have a good work balance. Uh, furthermore, uh, I've always been surrounded by great colleagues. Uh, today I have colleagues in Sweden, in France, in Brazil, in US, and they all all very competent. And uh, during all my years, they always been very willing to share the knowledge. And, uh, and the, yeah, it gives me energy. And finally, I have a great manager today. Uh, he gives me a lot of trust mm -hmm. and that I feel gives me energy, confidence and freedom in my development. Great to hear all the ingredients for you to, to make a, a great start in your new profession, Helen. Um, I have one final question. Our industry is uh, undergoing massive transformation. Uh, electromobility, connectivity, automation. Uh, we know that the demand for transport in the future will keep increasing, but it needs to be uh, done in a way that the, that can be sustainable for the planet. How do you reflect upon that? I like that uh, Volvo has a clear vision and wants to contribute to be at the forefront for sustainable transport solutions. And I feel I can uh, contribute in my work with data to create business value for the Volvo Group so they can accelerate their journey to more sustainable transport solutions.